Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. This is my second channel, it is not my main channel. And if you're new here, this is where I like to get a little bit goofier, a little bit wackier, a little bit sillier. And I also like to drink LaCroix, which is why I have a lemon LaCroix right here. Mm, all right, hell yeah. So you may have noticed I'm not in the room that I'm usually recording my second channel videos in, and that is because today what we're going to be doing on my second channel is addressing the absolute horrid state of this room. This room is in disarray, and I need to fix it before it drives me and everyone else insane. There's a lot of issues with this room, but the one that is really driving me crazy and I'm getting so many comments about is the, the absolute mess back here. The Greg letters are on the floor. I got paintings over here. It looks like there was an earthquake. I live in Illinois. There was no earthquake. And this is all because this shelf fell off the wall. That was really the inciting incident to all this and I have just not fixed it yet because I don't even know how it fell off the wall. I will ex I'll explain all of this. So I've been meaning to rearrange this room for a while now because I don't even like this angle that I film at. I want to switch it around and I want to redecorate it and I want to fix all that shit. So I thought it would be fun to document the experience because I never really show any other angles of this room. So it might be kind of interesting for you to see like what this what my setup really looks like and how I film my videos and it might give you some good insight and it'll just be a fun behind the scenes thing. Okay, first let me just give you like a 360 of the entire room so you can see where everything is because it's, it. I feel like this whole thing isn't gonna make sense unless you have an idea of what the whole room looks like, okay? This is where I film my videos. My tripod is there. I have these two lights. One is a softbox light and then one is more of just like a little fill light. So if I put my camera right here, you will see the background. So all that's right there. This is the door that you would walk out to exit to the rest of my house. Then there's a closet right here. Then behind where I film is my green screen. So whenever I do green screen stuff in my videos, I basically just flip everything around to face this way. So I just flip around all the lights. So that's what I do right now. But I've got a, I think I have a better system for that even too, where I won't have to be flipping things around as much. So then if we continue over here, I've got like a tripod, I've got some sound dampening foam. This table is a mess. This is like where I charge everything. This has my camera battery charger and other charging cables for charging my lav mic and stuff. It's basically just a table where I put all of my shit. I just put all my stuff on this table. There's no organization, there's no rhyme or reason. And to be honest, I don't really think I'm gonna fix this in this video. I think it's pretty much gonna stay like this. Then there's a window here, then here's the background of the videos, then there's this little nook. There's just a little nook in the, in the room which I actually, I think is really dope. Like if this were any other type of room, this could be like a little reading nook or something. But it has also led to a lot of confusion in my videos because with this behind me, it kind of just looks like a hallway. Like it, a lot of people have said that my videos look like they're filmed in a hallway. And then this is the closet, uh, which I've actually turned into a recording studio. It's not a closet now, baby, it's a booth. So this is where I have recorded all of uh, my songs since moving into this house. And it's actually been really great. The sound in here is really good. I've put like foam everywhere in these furniture blankets, like multiple layers of them. So the sound is really nice in there. Uh, I will not be changing anything in there. Oh, also, the I just wanna give you a full idea of the total disaster that's going on over here. So the reason everything is like this is because this shelf that was on the wall fell. If I take off these pictures, you will see, <laughs> you will see the damage that also, by the way, I love these pictures. People gave these to me on tour. They were hand painted and they're really awesome. So thank you to whoever gave me these pictures. The damage done by the shelf falling was severe to say the least. Here you can see there's still screws in the wall from where the shelf was hanging. These holes actually have nothing to do with the shelf falling. This is actually where I tried to put the screws in at first when I was hanging the shelf and I fucked it up and had to pull them out of the wall. So each side has a screw and a hole. But I'm so confused about how the shelf fell because the screw, it, it just attached to these screws. It kind of just hooks on. And both of the screws are still in the wall. If you could see the way the shelf attaches to the wall, to the screws, it does not make any sense to me how it fell off the wall. The only explanation is ghosts. I have no idea how the shelf fell, which is why I have been so hesitant to put it back up because I don't, I don't know how to prevent it from falling again because I don't even know how it fell in the first place. Another thing worth noting is that I hate filming in this direction because there's a window in the background and I never know whether to leave the window open or closed because when I leave it open, you can see out there and see it in my neighborhood, which I don't like and when I leave it closed it looks super dark back here like there's no light over here and it looks really dark see that just looks weird it looks it looks really ominous or something but then when I open it then it's too bright so I don't know what to do about that so with all that being said I could try to fix the issue with the window I don't know how I could try to fix the holes in the wall which I could I should probably do anyway with like spackle or 
I can just change the angle that I film at to face a different wall which is what I'm going to do. So right now I'm filming this way. My plan is to move this desk over to this wall with this window. And then my camera will go like here and it will face this way towards that wall. I think the reason I picked this setup at first is because I knew I was gonna put my green screen here because it's so big and it wouldn't fit anywhere else. So I was like, okay, well then really the only other way I can film is this way because any other way you would see my green screen. But I feel like if I'm, I feel like if I'm filming like that, then you can't see the green screen. So it's fine. Or maybe you can a little, but honestly, I don't even really care if you can see the green screen. Everybody knows I use a green screen. What, did you think I was really there? In the videos where I'm at a school or wherever else I am. Oh, you thought I was really there, huh? Well, I bet now you feel like a dunce, don't ya? Because it was all movie magic. So it'll kind of be like this, and I'll be like kind of sitting like here, maybe? Yeah, I think that looks, that looks way better, I think. That looks, this looks more like a room and less like a hallway. Or does it? You can still kind of see this way, which makes it look like a hallway. I don't know, man. There are, it is kind of weird that there's two doors in the frame. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of comments about how many doors are in the office that I shoot in downstairs. There's two doors to leave the room in different directions, and then there's double doors for the closet. So it looks really weird because there's four doors in there, which I never realized, but. All right, well, the only way I can really know if this is gonna work for sure is if I actually try, start setting everything up. So I'm gonna move this table over there, and then we'll see what that looks like. Oh, also I forgot to mention, I, I don't like this wooden chair. This wooden chair is part of a dining room set that technically isn't even ours, it's Laura's sister's. And when we moved into this house, I was like, okay, eventually I'm gonna buy an office chair or something to put up here. But for now, I'll just use this wooden chair. And then I've lived here for almost a year now and I still haven't bought an actual chair. So I'm gonna do that too. But we're just gonna use this for testing purposes. Let's put this bad boy on a tripod and see how it looks, dude. I just wanna get a, an idea. Another thing is since there's a window right here, I could probably just use natural light to film my videos as long as it's light out. I don't know how well that'll work out if it's if it's constantly like changing brightness in here, maybe that won't be the best idea, but uh, okay. I feel like that looks, no, actually that looks like shit. Just about to say, I feel like that looks decent, but now the only thing behind me is two doors. I need to move, <laughs> I need to move this. Okay, and then let's move the table over. How about that? I don't know. Does that look so dumb? I gotta move all this stuff. Oh shit! There's actually a huge dent in the wall right here because I a light fell and dented the wall. So I should probably be more careful with these. So let's take this off the wall. I don't know, the door situation is still kind of bugging me. I feel like it almost looks like I'm even more in a hallway now because there's multiple doors. It's like you're walking down a hallway and there's like door after door. That just looks weird. Okay, what if I just like zoom in so far that you can't even see the second door. Oh, that actually doesn't look horrible. I can kind of vibe with that maybe. I feel like that looks pretty good. And if I had some decorations back there, that's really gonna take it to the next level. I feel like I feel like this is going pretty well so far. I'm digging this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear out all this shit. And by clear it out, I mean probably move it over there where you can't see it. Then I'm gonna have to figure out how to decorate this. I'm gonna bring some of the decorations from over there and put them over here and then get some new decorations and also put them over here, I think. So now it's time to do that. I forgot to mention this before, but one of the annoying things about the way I was filming before is that the table was right here. So every time I wanted to use the green screen, I had to take the table and chairs and like move them all the way back here and then like reflip around the lights and everything to be able to face this way. But now there's no table here. So the green screen is totally open so I can just start filming here. Uh... I guess that I, I guess I did just put my lights behind a table. So I'll have to get them out from behind there every time I want to shoot over here. Uh, so that, didn't, I didn't think about that. All right, I feel like this is a decent start. I've got my nutcracker guy, very important. So maybe, you know what I should do is just take a picture of me sitting right here. And I did this in the last video where I redecorated my office. But if I just take a picture of myself like this, then I can take it into Photoshop and just Photoshop the background to be exactly how I want it. And then I can decorate it to be exactly like that. So I'm gonna try that. Let's try that. Okay, I've come up with a plan. Um, I Photoshopped the picture to be exactly how I want it. Uh, I actually switched around the lamp and the nutcracker. I just feel like it looks better like this. Then I put a little shelf back here or some kind of 
some kind of table or something to put things on. I feel like the Greg letters could be on a surface and I could put other knickknacks on there as well. I, I feel like that'd look nice. And then over here I can have this poster or maybe, you know, switch it out occasionally if I've got another poster I want to use. I also feel like maybe I could have something right here, but I don't, I don't know what could go there yet. Uh, all in all, I... I feel like this photoshopping thing was a little bit unnecessary. The only thing I really added was a shelf, so I don't know. I don't really know why I did this. But I do think it looks nice, so there's that. I mean, I feel like this helped me realize that what I was thinking does look nice. I got a shelf! I got a shelf! Here's my shelf. This is a little storage thing from Ikea that I've had for quite some time. I thought I was gonna have to go out and buy something, but I feel like this looks fine. It's just like a generic, dark-looking shelf. I feel like it looks... Just fine. You know, I was kind of thinking maybe I want to go for a more like hyper modern vibe, but I don't know. I feel like that's kind of overdone with YouTuber backgrounds. They always try to make it look like super stylish and sleek and modern and stuff. And I feel like it doesn't really describe me very well. You know, I think this very plain <laughs> generic looking shelf really exemplifies what I'm all about a lot more. All right, let's decorate this shit. I feel like this is going to look really good. All right. How does it, does that look cool? It's kind of flat. What if I like, what if I kind of angle the letters all crazy like this? Is that cool? Oh uh, no, that's just kind of hard to read. Hi, Peanut. All right, maybe I'll just keep these like this. The only problem with this is that there's all these, all these squares I have to fill up with other knickknacks and I don't really know if I have an appropriate amount of knickknacks for that. I guess I've got like one little nutcracker and three little succulents. One little nutcracker goes here or maybe here and three little succulents goes there. And now I'm basically a professional interior designer. All right, let's see how this thing looks, dude. Chair, oh fuck, I was gonna get a different chair too. All right, that's still on my to-do list. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but I do need to get a new chair. So just pretend that this, this is a different chair and not a wooden chair. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. This looks pretty normal. I don't know why that's the uh, that's the criteria I'm looking for. Does it look normal? I'm the most normal looking YouTuber in the game with the most normal looking background. Oh, there's also, there's one other thing I forgot. Oh shit. Fuck, that just, no, okay. I was like, that just fuck up the wall. A light bulb. And actually, damn, that like, I feel like that helps a lot. That just adds like a lot of ambiance in here. It feels a lot warmer. I feel like if there's any, any feeling that I really want people to feel when they watch my videos, it's warm and cozy. So I feel like that lamp helps a lot. It really warms up the room. But it is also an LED light bulb that can change colors using an app. In theory, if I didn't want it to be this nice warm tone, I could actually change it. Let's test out some different colors. So it, it could be a, a cool looking light like that, or it could be more warm like this. I feel like something like that looks nice. Then I can also go full color mode and just, and just get wacky with it. Green? That looks crazy. That looks like I'm about to make Slime. If I was a slime channel, this would be pretty dope. I can go green, I can go yellow. Hey guys, welcome back to the piss channel. Blue looks kind of cool too, but I don't know, cause then, then it starts feeling warm and then this starts feeling more like a, it looks like a sci-fi movie or something. So is that is that what I want? I don't know. I'm just gonna go back to warm for now. I feel like that looks nice. Maybe I can change the color depending on what I'm talking about. I can be like, hey guys, today we're talking about The Incredible Hulk or Spider-Man or the ocean. All right, I feel like I definitely need more knickknacks in there. What kind of knickknacks can I put in there? Do I have any more knickknacks? I feel like I don't have anything. I need knickknacks that like define me or like my content or my personality or something. I need I need things that like personify me. Like this poster of me with an inhaler, that that says Danny cuz cuz that is Danny. Well, you know what? I'll just I'm I'm going to leave that empty for this video, but if you have any ideas of what knickknacks I can put in there, please let me know. If you find anything cool on Amazon knickknack wise, if you're sort of uh in tune with the world of knickknacks, let me know. I could go kind of the grandma route and just get some like what are those like ceramic? Are they called the Hummel? Like figurines of like little boys, little Dutch looking boys and girls and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if I made this whole room look like a grandma's room or like a like a grandpa's house. If I gave, I could put like wallpaper up and a nice leather armchair. Now that would feel warm and cozy. Maybe I should just do that. Yeah, I feel like that looks pretty good for now. All right, well, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Let me know how you guys feel about it. And yeah, that's that. All right, this video has been brought to you by Ridge Wallet. If you don't know, Ridge Wallet is a company that makes really cool wallets and other accessories. Their wallets are super sleek, they're light, they're durable, industrial looking. I think they look really cool. They don't fold, they don't bulge in your pocket, so you don't have this weird looking lump. 
in your back or front pocket, and it will change your whole pocket situation if you use one of these. They're great. Most wallets that people buy, even to this day, were like designed in the 90s. They've got like three folds. Uh, they're super bulky. They're meant to hold like everything that you could possibly need, and then like also 10 other cards that you'll never use. But the Ridge Wallet will keep you nice and minimal. It was actually designed to fit well in your front pocket. Here's my Ridge Wallet. They come in a variety of different materials. They come in metal, they come in carbon fiber. This one is called Forged Carbon. I think it's a really cool like texture, very neat, very unique looking, but they're all they're all pretty industrial looking. They come in 30 colors and materials, all of them super durable. In fact, they all have a lifetime warranty. So if you buy one of these, you could carry it for your entire life. But don't just take my word for it because they have 30,000 five-star reviews and the Ridge team is so confident that you'll like your Ridge Wallet that they will let you have one for 45 days to test and you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. Along with wallets, they also have a couple other cool accessories. They've got wallet phone cases. I just got one for my dad. They also have this, which is a bottle opener that is super strong and can fit in your wallet so you'll never be without a bottle opener. So if you're interested in copping one of these bad boys, then get 10% off today plus free shipping worldwide and free returns by going to ridge.com slash Danny G. That's ridge.com slash Danny G and use code Danny G. The link will be in the description. Thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video and for sending me this wallet. It is very cool. And thank you to you guys for checking out Ridge. I highly recommend them. They're very quality wallets. And when you check out my sponsors, it helps me get more in the future. So much appreciated. All right, well, bye.